traveling my story based on the bloggers videos I loved those videos uh, I really really enjoyed watching them and uh, actually I'm going to use some of the tips so thank you very much it is my dream to be a world traveler to tell you the truth I've been only to two countries India and the UK I've been to India three years in a row and uh, the mission of my trip to India was to fully experience and immerse myself into the culture of that country, into its spirit and traditions. And uh, it was more about self-development, about uh, some spiritual development, about stuff uh, like meditations and so on. And I love, love, love India. Uh, a lot, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this time I'm going to tell you about my trip to the UK. Um, normally I book tickets in advance, so um, I mean I book my flights uh, using the app uh, Skyscanner or sometimes just the site. Uh, it is uh, really really convenient and sometimes you can get a real bargain. Um, if you do it in advance. As prices go up closer to the date and everything is so expensive leading up. Uh, but that time I didn't have the possibility to do it in advance as it was a kind of spontaneous decision. I attended uh, the event for teachers and for people who study languages and I got so inspired uh, that I decided to go to the UK and uh, to see how it feels. Uh, to be in this, in my student's shoes. Uh, I wanted to be a student again and um, I wanted to get a certificate from um, Oxford International to go through their course um, to, um, to see the country I had read so much about and I had studied so much about and I had taught other people about. Well, uh, so it was like obligatory for me, it was a must actually and it had always been a must but uh, I didn't have the possibility before so I decided to go and uh, as I couldn't book it in advance I booked it really close to the date. Um, I used British Airlines uh, when I went from London, from St. Petersburg to London, yeah. Uh, the ticket cost about uh, 6,000 rubles and I didn't like the service, really. It was uh, a, bit, uh, a bit of a stressful and unpleasant flight. Well, it was stressful as I didn't want to stay in my host family and I was uh, nervous and a bit pissed off, but um, actually I didn't like the service. And when I went back from uh, London to St. Petersburg, I used Russian low coaster Pobeda. The price was 3000 rubles, my baggage included, and uh, it was a bargain, yeah. And if I had flown without baggage, I would have paid just 2,000 rubles, so real bargain, yeah. Um, when I came to London, I decided to spend there one day on my own, so I went to a local hostel and I said, uh, I just asked uh, if they had uh, any rooms available. I mean, not rooms, but actually beds, yeah, as it was a hostel. Uh, some people are suspicious when they talk about hostels and um, they are afraid of hostels, they are afraid of germs, uh, of uh, stealing and other stuff. But actually, that hostel was one of the best in the UK and in Europe. It had three no, five. It had five stars. Um, well, the hostels, they also have that gradation, yeah? I've, uh, <laughs> I hadn't known about that before uh, I went there, yeah. Uh, so Palma Lodge Hostel was really, really convenient. It was uh, really close to Swiss Cottage subway station and um, it was really clean, the staff was so friendly and it was so authentic. There was a pub downstairs and a restaurant and breakfast was included. They gave me the key from the locker so I locked my stuff and actually everyone was just throwing their stuff around and nobody took it. Um, 
there was an iPhone on the table and nobody took it. And so it was quite safe and really friendly and clean and I liked it a lot. Um, I liked the people I met there and I liked the breakfast. It was really, really delicious and uh, I took some fruit with me. <laughs> yeah, so you could just take some stuff with you and go on walking tour. I don't like guided tours and uh, it wasn't an option for me as I'm a teacher and uh, I had read a lot about that country and I could uh, make a tour myself yeah so i decided to, to use local buses it is way cheaper than to use tourist buses so i used local buses uh, i walked a lot i visited the buckingham palace i went on a london eye um, i had um, a really great time there. Um, went to London Bridge, took uh, amazing photos and uh, yeah, it was a beautiful sunny day. It was in autumn, but it was really, really warm and uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, then I went to Oxford and I was supposed to stay in a host family. I was a bit nervous about it um, as I was afraid that uh, uh, they could just dislike me something like that yeah we could have some misunderstandings and so on so i knocked on the door and the woman opened uh, the door she was quite sleepy and she told me sorry but uh, there is no host family goodbye she tried to <laughs> shut the door right in front of my face and that's when i started to panic as i paid a uh, 104 thousand rubles for the course itself and accommodation in a host family and it turned out that on the address I had, there was no host family and she tried to close the door and it was getting dark and I didn't know where to go or what to do. I couldn't call anyone as I didn't have money on my SIM card. I had Russian SIM card and uh, it was like a big surprise for me. I was shocked. Uh, so I just stepped in the doorway and I said, I'm not going to go anywhere. Please, please, please help me. Uh, so she let me in and we started to <laughs> find a solution. Um, actually, she was responsible for the dormitory. It was a dormitory for students. Uh, there were like six rooms there and she was responsible for students' accommodation in the dorm, uh, in the residence. It was a residence for students. Uh, but um, she wasn't responsible for host families and that's why she didn't know who I was. So she tried to call her manager and it was Sunday, nobody answered. Um, after panicking for like two hours, she said that okay you can stay here for a night and tomorrow we'll find something so i stayed there and when i went uh, to school to oxford international school the next day um, the head of the school he came to me and apologized he said that they had never had such cases before and they um, must have confused something um, as uh, his wife was pregnant and she was responsible for uh, host families and uh, she just had just got on her maternity leave so there was some kind of mistake and to compensate that they promised to upgrade my accommodation and I could stay in the residence which was actually um, I was really lucky because uh, the residence was much more expensive and it was like maybe about 50,000 rubles extra <laughs> and it was amazing to stay there and I had uh, one of the best rooms um, I was really lucky but I cried and I stressed out a lot <laughs> because of that mistake yeah um, <coughs> I tried to use local advice and uh, I add, um, I, buy, I bought some food in supermarkets and local cheap supermarkets like Sainsbury's. They have ready-made salads, so it is pretty convenient. Uh, but once I fainted, as I tried to save up money and didn't spend a lot on food, so I add only uh, fruit salads and vegetable salads they sold there 
and uh, once I just fainted. <laughs> so after that I decided that uh, at least once a day I'm going to go to the cafe and have a good lunch there. And after that everything was okay. I went on a tour. Uh, they have special tours for students, Oxford International students, and um, it allows you to go from one place to another really really cheap. On a, I went on a bus tour and I went to Cambridge. I explored Cambridge and uh, I liked it. I spent the whole day there and we had an interesting program. It was really cool. Um, well, uh, I really liked staying there and uh, you know British people they're so polite. They're crazy about being polite and um, well, it was uh, amazing trip, yeah. Uh, I explored a lot and uh, I think that uh, if talking about my studies, I can't say that I've learned a lot of new information. Uh, I could even say that this course is much better than Oxford University course, yeah. Because uh, Oxford University offers you really, really academic course and it teaches you how to teach as the people but using textbooks, concentrating on really, really classical manner. Uh, so I liked Vedim's course much more. That's it.